Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're gonna study some more number patterns in the coordinate grid. This time we're gonna look at patterns where we are given a rule like add one and add two and we're gonna make number pairs and plot the points here. So this is my first pattern is that I add one each time. Zero plus one is one, one plus one is two. You know I add one so I get my counting numbers of course going that way. Here I add 2 each time, so I get the even numbers, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So I have already made my two number patterns here. Now we're going to look at these as ordered pairs, because each one of these is a pair of two numbers, right? And that means that I can think of them as x and y coordinates of a point, and each one of these pairs is one point, and I'll plot them and see what happens. Let's plot 0, 0 over here, right there. Then we have 1 and 2. 1 this way and 2 up. Then 2 and 4, 3 and 6, 4 and 8, 5 and 10, 6 and 12, 7 and 14, 8 and 16, 9 and 18 and then 10 and 20. Okay, now you can see that what happens is that they are as if on the same line. They form a linear pattern, we say, because it is as if these points, they are on the same line. And of course you could continue it this way, continue your patterns. And you probably noticed also that in each case the y coordinate is double the x coordinate. 3 and 6, 4 and 8, 5 and 10. Let's try something totally different where we subtract 3 each time. Here in x's let's add 2 each time and we will get the even numbers again. Here we subtract 3 starting from 30. So I would get 27, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12 and 9. And now see what happens with our points. 0, 30. 0, 30 is way up here. And then 2, 27, 4, 24, 6, 21, 8, 18, 10, 15, 12, 12, and 14, 9. Okay, I got those plotted. Now my plotting is not totally accurate because I don't have the grid lines here. But you can see, they are again on a line. And I could continue it over here like this. And I could continue it that way too. Now let's try it the opposite way. I already drew some linear patterns here in the coordinate grid. I drew some points that go on a line that way. I drew some points that go this way. And let's check do we get some kind of a pattern here with the numbers? Let me try the purple ones first. Okay, this one here would be 0, 2. Then I have 3 and 4. And then 6 and 6. And then this one is 9 and 8. And then we have 12 and 10. Aha! Do you see the pattern? 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. I'll just fill it in. This one goes by 3's. We're adding 3 each time. This one goes by 2's. We're adding 2 each time. And you can also see this. Add 3, add 2 on the graph itself. Because add 3 means that I go 3 this way. 1, 2, and 3. And then add 2 means that I go in y direction, y axis direction, 2 up, 2. Okay, 2 units up. And over here I go 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2 up. 1, 2, 3 this way, 1, 2 up that way. Okay, forming like a staircase in that sense. Now let's try the red pattern. This one starts here, at, there's 20 and 5. Then I have 10 and 18, and then 15 and 16, 
Can you guess what my pattern will be? Each time I go this way, x, in x direction I go 5 more, right? So there's 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 40 is the last one here. And then, as I go 5 this way, I drop down to 2. Each time I drop down 2 or subtract 2, right? So the rule is here, add 5, and here it was subtract 2. Okay, I'll show it here again. Add 5, each time I go 5 units this way, and 2 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2 down. Okay, it would create a staircase going down. Now, you might continue these kind of investigations and check that what if the rule for x, you know, for x I always chose add something, but what if for the x you would choose subtract 3, 4, 5, whatever, starting from some big number like subtract 5, starting from 50, 45, and so on. And then check what happens if you choose, with the subtraction here, choose either subtraction or addition here with a y, and check what happens. Another very interesting thing will be to check what if you choose multiplication here. Okay, like add 1 here, try with the add 1, because it's the easiest one for x, and then multiply something here with the y's, and see what happens. Okay, now we're all done, and I hope this was helpful.